Merci, mon amour, Hello, everybody. Rebecca. Welcome Bye. to the Hacienda. Today, we're going to make something delicious for this cold winter weather. It's about 19, 20 degrees outside, and we're going to get some icy snow tonight. Yes. So, we're going to make some uh, Cote de Rhone uh, braised uh, beef short ribs. What we have here is uh, uh, six nice short ribs from our steer that we have in the freezer that I've thought out and uh, we've got some celery, some carrots, an onion and a nice bottle of uh, Gigal Coturon. Now you do not have to go out and spend $85, $90 on a very expensive bottle of Coturon. This Gigal Coturon cost me under 15 Perfect sipping wine, absolutely delicious, one of our favorites and perfect for cooking okay so stick with me and I'm gonna show you how it's done. okay and uh, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna sprinkle the one chopped onion the two peeled and chopped carrots and the two uh, peeled and chopped ribs of celery now you want to coarsely chop them on a little bit on the small side and now we're gonna put the uh, Gigal Cote du Rhone uh, wine over top and we're gonna marinate this for 24 hours now I bought two bottles of this stuff because it is so good so there's gonna be glasses for the chef and the mrs. chef and uh, a bottle for the meat itself what we're doing here is uh, frying up a pound of bacon that's uh, been cut up into chunks uh, then we're gonna remove it um, from the Dutch oven Okay, now that we've removed the bacon, uh, we've dredged the uh, short ribs in flour and uh, over medium high heat, uh, we're gonna brown them. Now what I got here is Idol brand uh, Greek sea salt. Um, again, I'm not receiving any compensation from this company. I just think their products are fantastic. And we're gonna sprinkle some sea salt uh, on top of the meat. And this is how we're gonna salt uh, this particular uh, recipe. Good stuff here. All right, now after we've uh, browned the meat and uh, set it off to the side, like so, we're gonna take the uh, drained uh, vegetables that we marinated the meat with in the wine and uh, we're gonna cook them down until they're softened here. Uh, and we've removed all except one tablespoon of the beef fat, uh, or excuse me, the bacon fat. Okay, the vegetables are softening up nicely. Now we're gonna add eight ounces of uh, sliced mushrooms. You can add more, but that's just the container I had. We're gonna add more of this idle sea salt. Okay, a couple good sprinkles there. Pinches, okay. And um, we've got about half a cup of uh, chopped flat leaf parsley. And that's Dak the Cat, even he wants some. Two cups of uh, Swanson unsalted beef stock. Okay. Now we want to bring that up to a boil. Okay, once that's coming to a boil, uh, we're going to add the bacon and mix that in nicely as well. And the wine that we marinated the meat in. Okay, that's a wonderful Cote de Rhone. And we're going to bring that up to a boil as well. And while that's coming up to a boil, we are going to nestle the meat back in there. Okay. Okay. We're going to put in three bay leaves and about a generous teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper. All right. Now that it's coming up to a boil, we're going to put the lid on it and we're going to put it in a 300 degree oven for two hours. All right. The unveiling after two hours in the oven at 300. Oh. Does that look luscious or what? Wow. Steamy deliciousness. Oh my goodness, meat is falling off the bone. Oh yeah, okay. One more step, people. We are gonna go ahead and degrease this and we're gonna put that meat under the broiler, uh, dry and uh, I'll show you how it's done and what it looks like after a moment. We got some mashed potatoes here and we got the uh, ribs in the broiler, or they're coming out, so 
Let's go ahead and serve one up. Look at this deliciousness. Let's go ahead and ladle some gravy over this. Yummy with the bacon and all that deliciousness. Oh, wow. If I could only share with you the smell that is coming out of this kitchen right now. Oh, my stars. So there you have it. Cote de Rhone braised short ribs. Deliciousness on a plate. And thanks for watching, people. I do appreciate you. And Merry Christmas from everybody here, including Dak the Cat. He's sleeping right now, but he'll be meowing shortly. Si mon amour était comme un petit oiseau bleu, il volait.